This is lesson 10.2, Measuring Angles and Arcs. Your objectives are to identify central angles, major arcs, minor arcs, and semicircles, and find their measures, and to find arc lengths. A central angle is an angle in a circle whose center, or whose vertex, is the center of the circle. Like angle DQC is a central angle. Or angle EQC is a central angle. A major arc is an arc that goes from one point around the circle to the other point that goes more than halfway around the circle. So from E, be better if I traced on the circle itself, from E to C is a major arc, and it also goes through points A and B. A major arc has to be named with three points, the two on the end, and any one along the way. So this one could be arc EAB or arc, or sorry, arc EAC or arc EBC. Notice the curved arc above the letters at the end points and any point in between. A minor arc is the short distance between two points. The shorter distance from E to C is this way. And you would just call that one arc EC. That is a minor arc. It's less than halfway around the circle. A semicircle is exactly halfway around. Arc AEC is a semicircle. Arc DAB is a semicircle. The arc measure, which is notated with a lowercase m in front of the arc, is the same as its central angle measure. When you're looking for these angle measures, remember vertical angles are congruent. Remember linear pairs add up to 180. Remember any angles that form a straight line when you put them together add up to 180. So in this picture, if I just look at the picture first, I can fill in the missing central angles. Right here is a straight line. So I've got 180 degrees over here. 100 plus 80 gives me 180 degrees. I also have the 80 degree angles vertical angle over here, which would be congruent. So that's also 80 degrees. And 50 something and 80 degrees make a straight line. So that's another 180. 50, 80, and 30. Sorry, 50, 80, and 50 make 180 degrees. Now, the arc measures are the same as the central angle measure. Angle DQC is 80 degrees. So arc DC is 80 degrees. Arc BC is 100 degrees. Arc AB is 80 degrees, the same as the central angle measure. Arc AE, 50 degrees. Arc ED, 50 degrees. Now let's answer the questions. The measure of arc AE is what I'm looking for. Well, arc AE is the short way there, so it's a minor arc, and its measure we found is 50 degrees. The measure of arc AB is the short way there. It's less than halfway around the circle, so it's a minor arc. And we found its measure at 80 degrees. Arc EDC, just because it's named with three letters, doesn't mean it's major. This is a, still less than halfway around the circle. So it's a minor arc. And it uses the 50 and the 80. Put them together, 
to get 130 degrees. You can do arc addition just like angle addition or segment addition. Arc ADC, that's halfway around exactly. That's going to be a semicircle, and it adds 50, 50, and 80, which is 180. A semicircle is always 180. So this is a semicircle, and it's 180 degrees. Arc ABC, that's another semicircle on the bottom half, 180 degrees. And arc BC, that's less than halfway around, so that's a minor arc, and its measure is 100 degrees. My recommendation is that you fill in the picture first, then you go and answer the questions. Use circle Z to find each arc length round to the nearest hundred. Arc length has a formula. It's equal to the arc measure divided by 360 degrees times the circumference. Arc length and arc measure are different. Arc measure of this arc here, arc QR, the measure is 60 degrees. It's like the angle measure. The length is as if you were to take a ruler and measure the distance from Q to R. Arc length is distance. Arc measure is like an angle measure. So those are the differences there. So for each of these, I need to use the formula arc measure over 360 times the circumference. So arc QPT is my first one. I need the arc measure, and the arc measure can be found. I've got a diameter there. 60 is this part. 60 plus 120 is 180. So my arc measure will be 120. My circumference, they give me QZ, which is 10. Circumference is 2 pi R. So I'll use 2 pi R for the circumference. Remember, on this one, the arc measure is 120. And the circumference uses the radius of 10 inches. OK, so I'll use this formula. The arc measure we found is 120. Circumference is 2 pi r. 2 pi and the radius they give you is 10. So 120 over 360 times 2 times pi times 10 to the nearest hundredth is 20.94 inches. Remember the things to find there. You need the arc measure, which we found, 120 degrees, and you need the circumference. So they'll give you a measure, either the radius or the diameter, and turn that into the circumference formula to find the circumference. Punch it all in, and your answer is a distance. For 14, we're looking for the, the length of arc QR, which is this one. Well, that's the same as the central angle measure for the measure, and it's 60 degrees. So the arc measure is 60 degrees. PZ, which is a radius, is 12 feet. So the circumference will be 2 pi r. So arc length, I'll say AL equals arc measure, AM, over 360 times the circumference the measure of the arc, or sorry, the length of the arc equals the measure, which is 60, over 360 times the circumference, which is 2 pi r, and r is 12. 
nearest hundredth would be 12.57, and that's feet. Find the arc measure, 60 degrees. Find the circumference using the radius of 12 feet and punch it in.